Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. Trust you had a great weekend. International markets, the US jobless rate held at a 49-year low of 3.6%, while average hourly earnings climbed 3.1%. That was sufficient for the market to decide that the Federal Reserve is going to cut, cut, cut and cut. I think it's got way ahead of itself. This is a picture of the G20 finance ministers, treasury secretaries and central bankers. That's from Santiago AU Fund. I wrote about the issue with the bond markets. I called it bond yields in tilt mode. Of course, Japan was the first G7 market to enter into tilt territory. But now look at this, German Bund yields plunged to zero, minus 0.26%, way below Japan's. Let's go back to the currency markets. We had this strong rebound in the euro last week. I think it was the best week for several months. We're coming back below 113, 112.91. I remain a bear on the euro, and I think interest expectations in the US are overcooked and in nosebleed territory. Japanese yen, that's an interesting mover, 108.66. Swiss franc 0.9905, the pound. 127.03, the Australian dollar 0.6963, India rupee 69.4475, South Korean one 11.8404. If I'm not mistaken, it was the South Korean one that really led the, the slide in EM. Brazilian real, that's come back, 388, popped over four not too long ago. Egyptian pound 16.788, and the Rand uh, having popped over. Uh, 15 is back below it at 14.92 last time I looked. Dollar index, this chart is from T Commodity. If you look, this is a very important baseline. We've got to bounce off here, otherwise we're going to lurch lower, but we've bounced severally, and I think we'll bounce again. Dollar yen, this is a chart from Simple Trends. You can see the dollar is pushed higher. Euro dollar um, back at 112.91. Let's see how long this euro positivity lasts. Um, Steve Mnuchin, China's letting the value of the yuan slide to offset trade war tariffs, he said. Simple trends. This is a chart. He's looking for this pair to smash through the seven resistance soon, which is what I was saying in May when I said if all of this turns ballistic then this is going to fly through seven and that the Chinese will use the currency as pushback. Lovely photograph of the Empire State Building and New York City skyline bathed in pink and pastel hues. That's from Isarda Sorensen. Commodity markets, gold, that's coming off quite sharply. 1326 last, having topped 1340 on Friday. Crude oil, $54.42 in New York. That's been all over the place.